this cat scared the life out of me. <laughs> but it likes me, I guess. <laughs> So I'm noticing um, Bishkek doesn't really have like any infamous sites or, you know, incredible architecture or any like, you know, pinnacle of the city. Um, it's just kind of got its bits and pieces, you know, like it's bars, clubs, restaurants, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm on my way to what's supposed to be uh, the kind of like center. It's called something square. L2 square, I think. Um, but yeah, like the rest of Central Asia, I've noticed they just love their parks. The parks are so beautiful here, and they're like right slap bang in the city, as you can probably hear. Um, so that is one thing I'm noticing uh, pretty much across Central Asia. I wonder if it'll continue into Uzbekistan as well, but yeah, lovely parks. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any like major sights to see in Bishkek. Um, but yeah, still a nice city and still clearly developing. So there's some, uh, there's some really nice parts that I like finished, but I think uh, they're really like building it up as, you know, interest increases. Uh, but yeah, on my way. So over there, I don't know if you can see, <laughs> it's a big Ferris wheel. And there's supposed to be like a small amusement park there. I might walk through it later. Um, and then behind me, that's the State History Museum. Uh, and then I don't know if uh, you've ever seen the Kyrgyzstan flag before. It's genuinely one of my favorite flags. I think it looks so cool. It's like a big red flag and then you've got the uh, yellow emblem in the middle. I think it looks so cool. Yo, these things are literally everywhere as well. I think they're meant to be vitamin too, so I'm just, I don't know. They just say, it just seems so you know, conspicuous. <laughs> so it turns out I was wrong. This building here, this is the State uh, History Museum. And the building I showed earlier is the government building. So like parliament, I guess, but not parliament because I'm pretty sure it's dictatorial here. Um, but yeah, so you have the State History Museum and then over this way, behind this tree, I believe, is Mr. Lenin. Ah, uh, we got, we got his back. But yeah, I think that's Lenin. So yeah, that's the government building. There's Lenin, there's the history museum. That's cool. And then yet again, another park. This is a completely separate park, by the way. Literally two roads across. Uh, this is Oak Park, uh, characterized by very beautiful water fountain, some nice flowers, and uh, funny enough, oak trees, <laughs> hence the name. And then this building here is the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. Jisik. The very beautiful garden in front of it. Cool. 
Also, fun fact, I think I mentioned it briefly before when I was in Karaganda, but uh, drinking age in Kazakhstan, 21, drinking age in Kyrgyzstan, 20, and then for some reason, Uzbekistan, uh, 18. So I have no idea why they all decided to have different drinking ages. Um, luckily enough, I'm old enough for all of them. Uh, but yeah, saying that, I've only been ID'd once throughout my whole trip, which was funny because I didn't know they were IDing me. I was just like, <laughs> what is happening? Um, but yeah, I find that so interesting. There's got to be some like weird, um, weird demographic reason, but I'm not too sure. The reason I mention it is because I'm on the way to a bar. Uh, and while Bishkek's not the most flashy city, apparently it does have some really good bars. So uh, this one looks pretty good. But I imagine because it's a random Tuesday afternoon, it's not going to be packed, it's not going to be lively, it's not going to be anything mega. But I think it's just this one on the corner here. Uh, it's called Norm Bar. But yeah. So I'm going to go grab a, grab a cheeky beer after all my travels. So uh, yeah, I got talking to the bartender there um, and he recommended some bars and places, which was sick. Cause I was asking like, what can I do in Bishkek? And he said, yo, I've been living in Turkestan for like most of my life. Uh, and I don't even know what to recommend. He said, Bishkek generally, not the most interesting city. He said, it is a party city though. Like the nightlife is insane for how small the city is relatively. It has a lot of clubs apparently. I mean, if that's your thing, um, you know, maybe it's a city for you, but I'm not too interested in the whole clubbing scene, especially when I'm like by myself as a solo traveler. Um, it's not not the, you know, what I'd call like the best night out, um, but definitely interesting uh, that it's, it's more of a party vibe in Central Asia than anything else. Um, but he said, yeah, no, follow these accounts. Um, Kyrgyzstan is also known for its nature. So go out to nature. I was like, ah, oh, well, I'm only spending three days here, da, da, da. And then I thought, you know, well, that's exactly that. I'm only spending three days here. Maybe I should try and get out and see the nature. So it's humming and hiring. He recommended me a tour, but the, the earliest tour that this guy's doing, um, and it looks sick, is on the 24th of June, which is when I leave Kyrgyzstan. So I can't do that. So I decided I'd book a tour for the uh, 22nd, um, which is like a waterfall slash uh, like history tour for this tower called Barina Tower. I've never even heard of it, even when I was looking up Kyrgyzstan. So um, it sounds cool. And I was like, yeah, got to make the most of it while I'm here, right? Uh, so there we go. Uh, so I, I booked a tour, which is sick. So hopefully I'll see a bit more of Kyrgyzstan than just Bishkek. Seen as though I'm not the party animal going out. Um, but yeah, it sounds cool. So I'm glad I, glad I got that insight at least. Um, but yeah, so it is what it is. Um, but at least I get to do something a bit more interesting than just walking around the city or partying um, in Bishkek before I leave, which is uh, before I leave Kyrgyzstan, which is sick. So yeah, no, you'll see me there. The other thing as well, um, and you know, it, it might not be a common fact, but because of the way like imports and exports work and uh, like the countries itself, a lot of Central Asia is actually super cheap. So there are cheaper countries in the world, but essentially what you get in Central Asia is pretty much the same kind of lifestyle you'd get in the West, uh, but half the price. So same standard of living, um, but because of the comparative difference in like, the currency and like how the economies work you come here as a foreigner and everything's half the price you go out for a meal it's about half the price you go out for a beer about half the price like it's insane so yeah it's super cheap here it's super good and uh i can't recommend it enough it's uh, i've definitely been enjoying it i can't lie um but yeah
on my way back from a uh, uh, from a bar and i found like a bar slash nightclub <laughs> and i thought i'd go in it was quite sick i'm not gonna lie uh from the videos and everything but uh yeah there was a dance floor <laughs> and i i went up and i asked this girl to dance and i don't think she saw me because i tapped her shoulder and literally she must have jumped out of her skin a mile she was so frightened <laughs> And she was like, huh? <laughs> I said, do you want to dance? I don't know if she understood English or not. Clearly she did not want to dance because she was like, uh. <laughs> I don't know if she, if she just like so frightened or like not interested, but it was so funny. And I felt so bad. I felt so guilty because like, I felt like I just came upon her. But uh, yeah, I just I just went to the top of her and be like, dude, do you want to dance? But, uh, <laughs> it was uh, it's very funny, and there's uh, there's quite a few people there. It seemed like quite a lively event. Like uh, like the bartender said, I think Bishkek is definitely a party city, from what it seems, and that's a Wednesday night. Like I can't imagine what it's like on a Friday or Saturday, you know. So if only I could have, you know been there and experienced that but hopefully if all goes well i leave tomorrow i'm going on my tour tomorrow uh, if not it is what it is uh but yeah hopefully i i can get enough time in uh uzbekistan as well kyrgyzstan has been insane it's been cool it's been a vibe in bishkek uh i wish i could have traveled more in bishkek but you know it is what it is, you can only fit in what you can. But yeah, it's been cool regardless. It's been a very interesting country, nonetheless. And uh, yeah, friendly, safe. I can't, you know, I can't say anything against it. It's, it's just been, it's been blessed. I'm obviously not a Russian speaker or anywhere close to being culturally Central Asian, but yeah, I felt so welcome here. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Not the easiest country to go to. Probably not the first destination on a holiday list, but man, it's been, uh, it's been insane. It's been insane. And a uh, great place to visit for sure. I can't deny that.